Serious what's something a friend did that made you end your friendship with them? She was a cat hoarder and when I talked her into giving up 20 she said that would help making space. For the fall litters outdoor feral. I gave up. She had 120 cats inside her house. Being a single mom. Hadn't seen my good friend in months. We planned a night out so I hired a babysitter and drove one hour to her home. My friend was a half an hour late and when she arrived. She was with her and married boyfriend. And she said she had to get something for him. She went in the bedroom with him and closed the door. I heard. Giggling and laughing. I left. Not like I was paying a babysitter so I could sit alone in her apartment while she has sex with a married guy. Best friend since we were in first grade. Basically a brother to me. Turned out to be a pedophile. Assaulted his niece. He got bailed out. Did it again. And now he's in prison. Good fucking riddance. He married a girl who is incredibly hard to get along with and turned into a robot. Rape one of our friends. Friends for over a decade. I was her maid of honor. She had three children with her husband. Whom I was also very good friends with. I was very close with the kids. They called me auntie. I worked for her out of a home office. Watched the marriage deteriorate. She started a relationship with one of her clients after the marriage ended. She then started to treat her children like a burden. The new relationship was and still is, to the best of my knowledge, more important than her children. When someone starts to severely neglect their children for a new exciting fuckboy, I have to walk away. After talking to a guy the first liked, we found out my best friend was telling both of us that the other person didn't like us found us annoying. He would ask her to invite me to parties, and she'd tell him I couldn't come. Or that I said no and that he annoyed me. She'd tell me that he didn't invite me because he thought I was annoying. All because she liked him but wouldn't admit it to anyone. When we finally realized. We got together and stopped being friends with her. We've been together for 11 years now. The last straw showing me no support when my dad passed away. He once told me that I am worthless and to kill myself when I was going through a hard time and confessing that I had been depressed, regretted my life, and was considering ending it. I'm still here, but he's no longer in my life. They tried to be my friend only when they needed something. Outside of that, they'd pretty much forget about my existence. We had a 4th of July party, and my friend Josh, who I was in the Marines with came. He drank himself silly. And started getting real flirty with my 15-year-old daughter. Anyway. He stayed over because he was highly drunk. Well. In the middle of the night. I heard sounds in the hallway. He was trying to get into my daughter's room. I threw his ass down the stairs and told him to never show his face here again. I swear if he had assaulted my kid. I would be in jail for killing him. They were using me for free rent and as a scapegoat. Never called back after my son died I phoned her she said she would call me next week. Never called me back. Best friends for a decade. I got a job on the other side of the world. Met someone. And had kids. Decided against moving back. He hated my significant other because he stole you from me. Cherry on top? He's a Twitch streamer with a decent following and any time he gets drunk or high he goes on long. Winded rants about me publicly. I'm too old to put up with that kind of nonsense. Had a group of friends and after I tried to kill myself I never heard a word from any of them. It's been over a year and I'm doing much better. Best friend of 10 years would steal money from me and try and get with any girl I was with behind. My back. It becomes disrespectful to yourself if you let it continue best decision I ever made. He sexually assaulted me when I was drunk. She was bossy, overbearing, and manipulative, which I tried to look past because I loved her so much. 
Then she screwed her sick cousin's fiancé and he left the cousin for her. She wanted me to be supportive. And I honestly just couldn't. It was the last straw. Sided with someone who sexually harassed another person. Slipped MDMA into my beer thinking it would help my social anxiety. Well, it worked. I fucked his girlfriend. There is a reason I don't do amphetamines or really drink for that matter. I don't want to be his friend because he drugged me and made me act a damn fool. And he doesn't want to be my friend because I slept with his girlfriend of three weeks. Edit this was almost a decade ago. I'd rather nail my dick to the floor than go clubbing or be part of those kind of scenes nowadays. I told a friend something in confidence. It blew up in my face at work. I asked her directly just to hear it from her. If she told anyone, she didn't answer me. No one else could have done it. I told her she betrayed my trust and I was done with our friendship. Never looked back. Just to add. She was not a work friend but she knew someone at my work and told them. Burnt my table. She decided to just light matches and drop them on my table. Without putting them out. When a fire started and she was instructed by two people to not pour soda on it. Since it would bubble and leave a worse mark and that they would go get water sitting two feet away. She poured soda on it. Fun times. She also talked shit about her close friends behind their backs so needless to say I dropped her. Had sex with my wife. Kept being toxic to me because I wasn't financially well off like they were. I never took or asked for anything. But they kept being a bitch because I couldn't go on holidays and trips or do fun outings. I just quit talking to her. They forgot I existed. Always taking. All human relationships should go work both ways. I don't care if it's friendship or more. Molested one of his stepdaughters. He was arrested at work. And when all was said and done. His sentence came out to be 16 years. This was in 2008. And he's due to be released next year. She told me she had pressured her male friend into doing sexual acts with her even when he had. Stated he was uncomfortable. Knowing my own history of being assaulted. I knew I could not abide by that let alone her denying any true responsibility. I will not be friends with a predator regardless of any mental illness or whatnot. Make a drunken racist rant overnight hours on my Facebook wall. Before I could delete the post it was posted overnight. Someone screenshotted it. I was later fired for said post former friend had no remorse and said it was a joke. Using the n-word is never a joke. Ended a 12-year friendship. Thought that I should reply instantly to every message and to meet some kind of quota for how many texts or messages I send them a day. Decided he wanted to be friends with my ex. When he knew about significant abuse by said ex including child abuse. It hurt. I started to realize his talk about punishing people who don't do things his way was neither humor nor exaggeration. She began a cat rescue. It was not a cat rescue. Found out the truth two years later people would contact her to come rescue a stray with kittens. She'd show up and take the kittens and say she was unsuccessful at catching the mother. Then she'd sell the kittens. Many kittens died from neglect. As many were infants. Days old. Let her boyfriend molest my son while babysitting. Constantly lied and belittled me and one day she slapped me in the face in public as a joke as a replacement for hello. Like an actual hard slap that left my face burning. Both women. Didn't contact me for over a year even though I was going through a very rough time. I was always the one instigating communication and finally had enough. Stay friends with the guy who raped me woman shrugging.